just really proud of this team. Um, we played Duke exceptionally well, kind of had the same game plan coming in, and Texas A&M being such a great team, and national champs last year, just really being focused on uh, boxing out, uh, trying to take care of the ball a little bit better. Uh, but I was really pleased with the game plan, and we executed it to the T. And uh, we, we kind of outplayed uh, some of uh, their players in different positions, and that's what we were able to win the game with. Brittany Sharon picked up that tech, and about a minute later, you guys started your run. I don't know if those two things are associated or not, but from your perspective, did that provide a little bit of fire for you? Oh, yeah. She put her head out there, so we're going to back her up 100%. That's what we do as a team. I mean, she, she went out there and went after it for us, and we had to get, get it back for her. Chelsea, just talk about the second half defense and kind of what was the emphasis, where, where, where was the main focus for you guys in the second half? Um, the main focus of our defense was not to let them get deep into the lane and then obviously not let their post players go off. So we were just trying to keep them in front and not foul. Chelsea, I think uh, at the first TV timeout, there were four minutes in the game, they were beating you on the boards 9-4 to four, and they had six offensive rebounds. And it didn't look pretty good. Just what, what changed, do you think, to, to even things up by the end of the game? Uh, well, the coaches challenged us at that first time out and told us that they were beating us on the boards and um, told us if we wanted to win the game, we needed to box out and go for the ball. Courtney, could you talk about uh, Sam Poe's presence on the board today and just kind of how she kind of dictated things down there in the rebounding department? Um, I know Sam was upset after the Duke game, so any great player is going to respond and they're going to go out the next game. And, I mean, one of her um, jobs to do is rebound, so she did that huge for us today. Uh, for any of the players, you just beat the number four team in the country. I mean, pretty exciting moment. I would guess it's kind of chill in here, so, you know. <laughs> How does it feel? Um, I personally, as a senior, this is a, a first experience for me beating them on our home floor. It's just great to defend our home floor, and I think, like I was just saying, it's, it's probably going to hit me when I get home tonight. I think I'm still living in the moment right now. Uh, Coach. Wait, go ahead. Okay. I Sorry. would say, um, I mean, the fan base today was amazing. And the last year or two, um, Purdue basketball has been, you know, kind of even. I feel like today we just took it to a whole new level. Um, personally, it hasn't hit me yet, but I'm still like, yeah, we won a game. But I think tomorrow will be that time where, like, nothing will be able to make me mad. I'll just be in a good mood all day. Okay. I can go, Cliff. Coach, can you put it in perspective what this can mean for this team down the road? And then just what you carry, you face in Notre Dame next, mm -hmm. another top-notch team. What can you carry from this? Well, obviously, that's building something. Mm -hmm. you got an opportunity here to get two really nice wins here. Well, we knew that this stretch of our schedule was going to be very tough. Um, we talked about it, and again, our team's very resilient. We know how to grind things out, um, and uh, we have other players stepping up, you know, all the time in different games. And we've had a lot of, uh, um, you know, adversity here and there. Um, players not being able to play for certain reasons, and we've been able to find a way to win. So this one, I think, we brought it all together. Um, I thought we did a great job on the boards. We executed game plan. We looked for the things that we needed to do. Our defense was uh, the best I've seen all year. Um, holding a team like that, that averages about 80 points a game. Um, you know, and, and all it can do is just build confidence going into our next game. You know, uh, it was very important that we needed to win um, one of these. And I think this can just be the catalyst to, you know, have some great things in the future here. Chelsea, just sort of a follow-up, how much confidence does this give you that you can win these games without Dre? Because I would imagine when she got injured, there was some, you know, from, from you guys, I would imagine, some question about how well you could compete in some of these games. <clears throat> okay, so when we lost Dre, we knew that she's a large piece of the puzzle, but collectively we have to make up for her. So I think that this game gives us confidence that we know that if we all work together as a team and everybody contributes a little bit, then it could all make up for it and we can be great. Courtney, by my count, it was so Sam all hit the three point play. It was you guys had a two point lead? I think for only there, you only had one turnover the rest eight the final eight minutes or something like that. What was the difference? Obviously, you know as a team, if you can kind of limit those turnovers, you have a chance to be a pretty good team. What was the difference in the last eight minutes? 
um, it's something that we talk about in practice. Uh, we had to take care of turnovers and rebounds. I kept preaching to everybody that you know we have to get a stop, we have to box somebody out, and we have to take care of the ball. And so if you're saying it, then you have to do the same thing as well. Sharon, just to have the performances of Chelsea and Sam O on the same night, just how big was that as you lay a foundation there in the post mm -hmm. moving forward? Can this just can this be the start of something that they can produce, uh, you know, something down well for you? I really hope so. You know, I mean, uh, Chelsea's been playing her best basketball uh, right now, and um, we teased her, but she's MVP of this game. Um, you know, and and it, she's just playing and having fun, and I think that's the big thing. And with Sam O, she plays consistent. You know, the only game that she didn't play consistent in was Duke, and she knew that, and she came back, and she bounced back and did some great things today. So... If we have those two doing a great job and then Alex getting in there and being able to score a couple couple baskets, those three have to be the rotation down low, and this should be the catalyst. They had great success. They went against some of the biggest and best post players in the country, um, and we handled them pretty well. Uh, Courtney, Coach sort of touched on the schedule, starting in Kansas State, then Cancun, at Duke, today, and then Saturday, and then Sunday. How big a deal was it to get a, a, a win like this during the stretch? Um, Huge. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Second that, what you said. <laughs> no, I mean, we talked about that, but we also knew that we're looking forward to this stretch to see where we are competitively in the country. You know, if we're a top 10 team, if we're outside the top 10, if we're a top 20 team, um, and, you know, beating Kansas State, um, I thought was a, a huge plus for us. And then Duke, we played great basketball. It was really a four, six-point game on the road. So we felt very confident coming in. So it's a, it's a big step for us, and we felt like we could win today. So there was no question that it was a, a possibility today.